In this video, we're going to talk about the five books that completely changed my life. These books not only helped me spiritually, but physically, emotionally, mentally. They helped me change the way I was thinking. They helped me go from negative to positive. These books made me look at the world a little differently. I know one of these five books will resonate with you, so please hit that like button and let's get started. The first book, The Alchemist. This is the number one book. You gotta read it. The Alchemist, it's about a man that goes on a journey. He loves to travel. He has to not listen to his family or tell him to be a priest, but he loves to travel. So he gets some sheep, does all that type of thing. And then he has to sell off his sheep because now he's got a big dream. He's got this personal legend to fulfill. And we all have this personal legend. We all have that destiny or that thing that drives us. We just have to find it. In the book, they say mock tub. It is written. You just have to have the courage and the strength to go after that success that's written out for you. You have to push through the fear, the trials, the tribulations. This book is amazing because it helped me realize that there's more for me. I have to go after my desires. I have to go after my dreams and my goals. Even when you have people telling you, no, 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 don't do that. Go this way. You gotta veer off and go in your own lane. And you gotta do your own thing. You gotta do what you want. So this, is, this book helps you connect with your heart, follow your inspiration, follow the symbols, the signs. I suggest you read it because everyone should live in pursuit of fulfillment, that pursuit of their own personal dream. Everyone has it. Everyone has something that they can provide the world with. They mention the soul of the universe. It's always providing you with these signs, these little inspirations. Follow the opportunities and you will reach your dream. You'll reach the gold. An alchemist turns lead to gold. This is inner alchemy. It's about spiritual growth. It's about a personal journey and fulfilling that journey. Going on a mission. Inner alchemy, baby, I'm an alchemist. You're an alchemist. Read this book. You will not be disappointed. It will only take you a couple days to read. My buddy just read it, it took him a day and a half. The next book, Think and Grow Rich. Don't let the title fool you. Money is just a symbol. We're growing rich in health. We're growing rich in Wealth, we're growing rich in relationships, rich in our overall wellness, becoming a better version. I say it all the time. I'm gonna continue to say it because that's what we're here to do, become a, the best version of ourselves. This book helped me realize that I could design my life, writing things down, using imagination, thinking bigger. It just helped me grow my overall awareness. I always, I think about this all the time. When you start writing, your goals down, when you start creating your life and designing it the way you want it to be, you start seeing the world differently. I get off this exit, I've been, I've lived in the same spot all my life. So I always use this same exit. I used to just see the two gas stations, the big trucks, but all of a sudden one time I was getting off the highway and I looked above the gas stations and it's just these beautiful mountains. I never noticed that before because I didn't, I wasn't opening my eyes. That's what happens when you read books like this. These things that empower us to look at the world differently, to create our life in the way that we want. The Alchemist, Think and Grow Rich. The Alchemist helped me pursue a different path, helped me realize there was more for me. Think and Grow Rich made me realize that I can design the life that I want. I, can, I deserve wealth, I deserve abundance, I deserve good relationships. And we can create that by setting big goals. Think big, use our thoughts, they're powerful. Reprogram those limiting beliefs those negative patterns and put them into positive ones. Think and go rich. Read it if you want to. It's a long book, might be hard to read. I read it like three times though. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I love this book. The only thing I wanna to talk to you about, about this book is it helps you transform your thoughts around money. I wanna use some of his quotes, some exact things that he said in the book that helps you see those limiting patterns, those limiting thoughts and the things we say to ourselves that kind of hurt us. So saying things like, I can't afford it, and turning that into, how can I afford it? The reason I'm not rich is because I have you kids. The reason I have to be rich is because I have you kids. You see the difference? These are more empowering things, more empowering statements, helps our minds search for the ways to afford new things. How can we raise up our finances so that we can afford these things, so that we can make our kids have the best life possible? He's all about money being a tool, using it as an asset, instead of a liability. A liability is just something that takes money from your pocket. An asset is something that puts money in your pocket. So making your money work for you. Stop working for money and start making money work for you. Money works for me, that's an affirmation, use it. He compares his middle class father to his wealthy father. And his, 
His middle class father has all these limiting statements that he says to himself all the time that just keeps him down there. Makes him have to work really hard for all this money. The wealthy father, the rich father, doesn't have that nine to five job. He's got a bunch of real estate and assets, using stocks, using investing. I'm not gonna get into all the investment, he dives deep into that, but what's important is the mindset. Start changing those beliefs. Start telling yourself new things. When you hear yourself say, I can't afford that, change it to how can I afford that? It's not about how much money you can make, it's about how much money you can keep. So save, invest, think about money differently. Don't let money control you. Rich Dad Poor Dad, it helped me change my mindset about money. My money mindset got a little bit better so that I didn't have to think money was everything. There's so many different avenues to earn, to make more money. I love when he says, broke is temporary, but, but being poor is eternal. So say you're broke, yeah, that's just temporary, but don't ever say you're poor. How to win friends and influence people. Now that we got finances covered, how to create our life, going on our own mission, doing what we believe in. Now we gotta be able to treat people right to see things from other people's perspectives. This book not only helped me become more empathetic, it helped me not judge others, to look at their point of views. This book has so many principles in it from just smiling more, to remembering people's names, to caring about other people, being honest and genuine, showing true interest in other people, sincerely, actually starting to care about where they come from, about their interests. This helped me gain new clients, learning these skills. These new social skills helped me not only gain new clients, but retain clients and connect with them on a deeper level, build new friendships, think about my own life in a different way. My favorite principles from this book is being a good listener and to make others feel important, sincerely. Not just making them feel important, but truly believing that they are important because everyone's important in their own way. Everybody has something to give. Give back, show appreciation, be honest, be kind, be empathetic. These are powerful things. This book is so good. Read it. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. The last book, The War of Art. Now that you have all these new skills, you have to start overcoming resistance. Everyone struggles with resistance. It's a natural thing, it's a natural force, it's a negative force. Resistance holds us back. He uses an artist's perspective because resistance stops and halts creativity. Resistance is that thing that tells you all the things that you need to hear to keep you from doing the work and sitting in the chair, to get in front of this camera, to write the script, to sing the songs. It's that fear that holds you back. And this book is all about overcoming that resistance. Resistance can be in any form. It can be, oh, I'm hungry right now, right before you're about to sit down and write your book. Resistance is those negative habits that are stopping you from doing things, smoking, Break the bad habits. Fight through the resistance. And that's how you turn professional. Stephen Pressfield, the author of this book, he tells you the differences between an amateur and a professional. Part two is turning pro, turning professional. The amateur plays part-time. The professional plays full-time. The amateur is a weekend warrior. The professional is only on seven days a week. The professional truly cares about this. The professional sits in the chair every single day no matter what. No matter what's thrown at him, he puts the work in. The professional loves what he does. Although he takes money, he still loves it. Book three is about going beyond that resistance. Once you've become a professional, once you force yourself to be disciplined, you go beyond the resistance. You sit in the chair every single day. This allows the muse to work through you. That's that force, that's that spirit, that's that inspiration that just flows through you when you're speaking, when you're talking, when you're writing, when you're singing. When you're doing any of these creative projects, I used to always tell myself, man, I'm just not creative. I'm just not the creative type, I'm not the creative person. We all have creativity inside of us. Maybe I'm not creative enough to write a painting. Maybe that's not my creativity. We all have different types of creativity that should flow through us if we just discipline ourselves to push through the resistance and to do what needs to be done, to put the work in, to sit in the chair every single day. The writing will come easy because the professional is patient. He knows that if you push through the resistance, you will reach a higher level. The muse will work through you and that's when things get fun. That's when your calling, your mission, it gives back. All that work you've put in, now you start receiving benefits for that. It starts overflowing and you start giving back to others. These are the five books that truly helped me become a better version of myself. 
spiritually, emotionally, physically, financially. They help me set goals, go on my own mission, to care about people, to help others. These books help me in so many ways. I hope that they can help you too. You're going to be able to go on your own personal mission, find your personal legend, to see the signs from the universe, the signs from God. They're all around us. You'll be able to create and design your own life, to set big goals, to actually see your mission, to see what it is that's out there for you, all the success. Because we all have it, we all have that full potential. To start changing your beliefs about finances, about money. To start paying yourself first. And to push through all of that fear and the old behaviors, the old patterns, the old limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Push through them. Sit in the chair every single day. Put the work in. Remember, I'm here to ignite your passion. Be you. Be different. It's one love. We are all connected. And if you have any books that you would love us to read, please comment them down below and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Peace out. Bye bye.